What is up, everybody? Spoon, we've missed you. I missed you guys. Where you been? Working. Working your ass off for sure. Yes, for sure. Today you're gonna see. So you guys haven't seen Spoon in the videos in like I think it's been like two videos. Feels like a month. It's crazy. Spoon has been working his ass off painting the E36. As you guys saw, we brought it to his personal garage where he kind of had his own. I want to say makeshift paint booth because it seems it makes it sound unlegit, but it's pretty legit. It's unlegitly legit, and uh, it's painted. I haven't. He's been sending me updates, but I haven't seen it in person yet. We're gonna go pick it up and bring it back fully painted. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm waiting for you guys. I'm just cleaning the truck. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. I don't know if I can mentally handle this today. I'm excited for you to see. I told you I might cry. I hope you do. <laughs> T-Bone, E36 time. You want me to come? You coming? You want me to? <laughs> go. Yeah, come on, let's go. Long one. E36 time. I don't think I'm gonna go. I got some dinner to handle on this toilet. Oh my god. We're gonna take Luke though. Come on, Luke. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's put this in perspective of how freaking big of a day this is, right? So I've had this car for almost five years. I got it in January of 2018, which 2018 sounds like it was like a week ago, but it's gonna be five years ago. Disgusting which means I've been doing YouTube for over five years, which is even more mind boggling to think because I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. None of us do. But you, yeah, we're winging it. <laughs> we're winging it, that's it. So if you guys have been around, thank you so much for watching these damn videos. But uh, I think this was like the first car I really bought as like an influencer because I had the Z, I had the uh, S13 and uh, it was cool. It's crazy to think how cheap I got that car for back then. But uh, the car was pretty beat when I got it, right? The paint sucked couple dings and dents everything was dry rot and ugly the interior was pretty crap it was a base model 325 and it had a lot of different lights right we put all the M parts on it I tried to find as many I tried to refresh the interior as best I could we put like four different engines in it and it was never like fully finished and it was always kind of like the sidecar that I dabbled into and I never thought I'd ever get painted to be honest that was always a joke it was always like half black and half red and it became a thing and then we got the cherry hatch and that was also half black and half red and it's like you were like that for a while I was like that for a long time Red and black. Everything was red and black because I, I, I couldn't get anything painted because I just didn't have the resources. And uh, well, now I'm spoiled with a spoon, so uh, things are happening. And the car, the chassis inside and out is fully painted. Um, still got to do the bumpers and stuff. The bumper size because that's. But whatever. The main chassis is painted. He already painted the inside. Cage is painted. The engine bay has been painted. It It's going to look like a brand new ass car, which is. I feel like I need to be wearing a blindfold or something. Is this a, a blindfold you? <laughs> Why does it sound weird coming from you? <laughs> you're ready. I'm not ready. I'm a bitch. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. It's been a long time. It has been. Who is that, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, here is my 2022 1992 E36. <laughs> Dude, look at it. It makes the wheels pop like crazy. This uh, color goes crazy now. What was that? That color on the wheels goes crazy Yeah, now. the gunmetal does go really crazy yeah. now. Wow, yeah, now I like the gunmetal. With the interior matching. Uh, okay, so if you guys didn't know, right, uh, E36s, when they're red, they're usually called hell rot red. It's like the typical red, but this is a 92. It's a first year E36, and for some reason, the car got an E30 color. So this is brilliant rot. So... This is an E30 color, so you don't see E36s this color very often. And what kind of makes it weird is it's more orangey. So like compared to a Hellrock car, you're gonna be like, what's wrong with the paint? No, it's just a different paint code. You could tell, look at it. Now that I said it, you could probably, you can't unsee it. A lot of orange in it. Wow. The car has got no business being this straight spoon. Oh my God. Look at the roof. Look at the roof, look at the like, the, just look at the, the body, it, it was like minimal body work, right? And it was... This car was straight to begin with. This was a scuffing shoot. Why does it look so good? <laughs> it shouldn't look this good, dude. We'll get it with the contrast of the inside. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so let's get the glass in. We're gonna bring it to SEMA. <laughs> Three days. Three days, no, this thing looks... <laughs> dude, you... I don't know, I, you spooned it. That's all I could ever say. I like this. It. Right? Look at it, just like the like transition that. between it. It makes like the no interior look sick. 
I'm also really impressed because the little bump we made for the turbo. A bump. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that bodywork actually ended up looking half decent. Red hides a lot too. Red, red hides a lot, which is uh, good. Mine was good. It's good. Uh, like, like, even the overs, you just sanded and sprayed these. You didn't yeah, use any, you didn't skin. No bodywork to these at all. These are actually really nice. I'm impressed because usually with overs, if you don't like skim coat them, they're usually like wavy. Wavy. All right, so we got the temp rivets just to mock these up for now and see what they look like. The over looks bigger now. It does. I don't remember the arch being so big, but again, they were white before. White always hides. Hides, like, body like yeah. Damn, they do look big now. I don't remember the car looking this juicy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's got hips on it now. Whoa. If you told me that was a different over, I would have believed you. I would right? too. <laughs> it doesn't look like the same over. Spoons like they are. <laughs> they are. Did you, you get new overs for this day when I was going? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so, from here. Look how juicy this thing looks now. That's so funny. It just shows how different like colors just like do for a car. You know what's sick? If you go back like a little more like a foot, squint. It looks like it's molded and like yeah, yeah, yeah it just like it was made like that. Yeah, yeah, molded over fenders. <laughs> if it wasn't a drift car, <laughs> just a squint. If it wasn't a drift car, I probably would have. Damn. Hey, the color looks different outside, right? Yeah, it looks more red now. Does it look more red? I think so. At least in my eyes. Dude. Nice work, dude. Holy fuck. boys spoon killed it Thank as you. always looks beautiful don't the flares look bigger now no no they look smaller what the fuck the same color as the car now they blend in i don't know much is my opinion from the dude, side, yeah but when from you look at it from right the side she... <laughs> look at the sun just dancing off the thing it's excited. Ooh, it looks good. God damn. I told you once we put it next to another red, it's gonna look orange. Check it out. So Spoon CRX is Milano red, which is like a good deep red. Look at it. it <laughs> let the camera like focus and then orange. Here, close the door real quick, Spoon. That is so funny. I hope you could, it looks, yo, you could definitely see it on camera. Th this is what I was waiting for right here. We got all the Power Rangers united right here. I love it. You need a green car. I do. You're right. I do need a green car. Look at it. Look at this corner, dude. What does my life become? Oh my God. A week ago, Jim. Uh, current Jim is puking in his mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We were tempted to do color match rivets, but for some reason, I think the black rivets are such a vibe on here because there's a lot of black like accents on the car, you know? Oh yeah. Hey, careful. What? Huh? 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 <laughs> Boom. You got touch up <laughs> No, the black looks sick. Usually I hate when you can see roads, but for some reason it looks cool. Oh yeah. Perfect, there we go. It's crazy how like good these cars take over fenders. Oh. Sick. <sighs> so sick. All right, so now comes the time of uh, making all the little bits of it look nice and fancy. So I thought they were fine, but Spoon wants to retrim black the uh, the trim. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. No, get a Scotch Bright and you just rub away. Spoon just threw the headlights in. It looks so good. Like each piece of the puzzle, it just gets so much better. That is so good. Many moments of ooh, wah, 
This looks so nice. There we go, fresh trim black. It hits different every time. What's sick about E36s though, I don't gotta go crazy looking for headlights and pay $800. These are 120 bucks on eBay. Why is it so loose? What am I missing? She's an old girl. She gets, you know, they get a little loose after a while. Yeah, a little loose after a while. <laughs> One more clip. There we go. All right, Spoon, throw the bash bar on because I'm dying to see it. There she is. Oh, that is so good. This is so sick, dude. The piece I'm hyped to see is the Impro Tails, right? They're like the all clear tinted. Mm. This on the fresh red. Oh. When you try to get E36 taillights to go in, uh, they're always a really tight fit because of the seals. Glass cleaner, sheet code. A little lubricant? Yeah, you gotta do it or else they just like won't go in. Couldn't you just use spit? I don't sure. just spit on it. Oh, this is gonna be good, boys. It's gonna be good. Okay, that fit night easily. Usually the seals are really tight, so it's really hard to get in, but. Back. Whatever. This, oh, oh. this whole video is literally just like, oh my god. I mean, can oh you blame me? That's a big moment, alright? Let me enjoy this. Ooh! That's good. Nice! I'm gonna be real upset when those get smashed into <laughs> <laughs> i keep having to walk away because uh neil from juice locks and dave from drift games are actually here and i keep giving little tours well i'm gonna make them jump in the vlog very soon but every i keep coming back every 30 minutes and there's more parts on the car i feel guilty i'm not here for it but uh luckily with this car the quarter glass bolts in so it already has some glass in it which is always what brings a fresh paint job together and this piece of trim right here has been oh you should have seen it before it was, I, I don't I don't even know how you already painted it. It's so bad. It, it, it's always been rusty and it always drove me nuts. Uh, but I just, I never got, to, like there was no point to take it apart, right? So seeing this thing in black is almost more mind boggling than seeing the car painted. It cut me. It got you? It no, got Spoon. Me. Cleaning these up. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You good? You good? I'm good. Okay. So the M3 trim always does so much for any E36. If you have like, a non M and you have like the standard skinny trim, get yourself the, well, I'll call it the M sport trim. All right. And put it on the car. Cause that's probably my favorite mod. It does so much for the car. So this should really, really do a lot for it. So this is it. You guys see us use all the time. Cheat code. Cheat code. It's everything. good stuff. Everything. everything. I usually hate things out of a spray can cause it's usually not longevity, but this stuff, it holds up and it's like the perfect color. No, you, you gotta, you gotta put it in upside down. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put this on upside down. Why? Because it's not an M3. No, I'm not doing that. M3 upside down. Ew. Exactly. It's not ew no more. Yeah, it's so good. You look at it, you go, ew. That is an old thing. <laughs> put it upside down. Put, see, yeah, see, spoons about it. <laughs> you want to? Yeah, you gotta put it. On, it's not an M3. All right. There we go. That's it. That's it. Look at it, see? Look how good that is. <laughs> it works. It works, right? I guess. You I'm hate a it. Huge fan of it. You hate it. I like it. The other way. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just it, it's funny. Alright, we could we could change it. I do actually have like the M Sport badges for this. So Those ones are cool. It's cool because it's hard when it's on an M3 and you have an M3 badge. It just feels wrong, but it's M3 trim, whatever. One of my friends, his name's Bear, actually, he did this on his car probably. 10 years ago and I always thought it was funny so I've always wanted to do it. We did it. <laughs> it is, yeah, it, that's how it always that's feels, it. yeah. There we go. See, the M trim does so much for the car. Coming together. It's coming together. Quick. Wow, trimmy Neutron going back on, all the trim. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Spoon. It's beautiful, Jim, honestly. It's even better in person than it was in pictures. Are you happy with it? I, I've been crying behind the camera for the last. I want to cry right now. This looks so good. <laughs> I keep saying the whole video is us going, oh my God, but fuck it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's what's, what's going to happen. That's what you're going to get. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? So the Irish boys have been here and, uh, oh no, they're doing a, you doing an ad integration? What are you doing over there? I'm going to do some B-roll, I think. All right, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal you guys. I've been trying to find, I didn't want to just shove the camera in your oh. face and be like, look. I'm hanging out with the boys, but okay. There we go, double camera cameraed up. So, this is the perfect fit, right? So, I, I went to Ireland. I saw every 86 that ever was produced right there. Yeah, um, in a half hour. In a half hour, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I came yeah. back and I was like, okay, now, now it's time to work on mine. So, you're kind of known as like, kind of being the 86 purist. Kind yep. of. Yeah, I am. I you know everything 
to the damn car. Yeah. You started spitting some stuff off. I would have never even thought to ask. He he's deep dive. Deep dive. Yeah. yeah. And I appreciate it. Too deep. <laughs> it's like, deep sea like, dive. Like, yeah. It's like all the, the the memories flood back, like the old Vietnam War, and yeah. like eighty sixes from everywhere. You started reading my vin off. Yeah. And it was just tell me every number. where the factory where you built your, your car was built. So this guy goes. Deep. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but <laughs> it is what it is. He knows the guy who built the car's mother's maiden name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just by the VIN. Yeah. So, okay, come here. Come okay. here. All right. So, I, I, we just did the video last with the ITBs and all that stuff. So, K swapped 86. I got a lot of heat for it when I first gave out the idea. What do you think of it right now? I think it's amazing. Because I like that you've actually followed the original aesthetic of an A86 build and kind of paid attention to how you wanted the K-Series to sit in the engine bay. Thank you. So it looks beautiful. It almost looks like a Toyota engine. And because you put the Kinsler cams or the ITBs mm -hmm. and the kind of high-rise, what do you guys call them, headers? In, what do you guys call them? We call them manifold. Yeah, a manifold header. Yeah. yeah. Exhaust manifold. But it looks beautiful. And I also like your attention to detail by getting the skunk to valve cover and then it actually makes it lower makes it look like a rear wheel drive engine sitting in the engine bay so a lot of people have actually got on to me to say to you what are you doing he needs to put a 4 AGE in this you need to put talk some sense into him but like if anyone I knew came to see this in real life they would definitely say the same thing and that's not me being put on the spot and saying nice things to, yeah, yeah, so I don't yeah. insult there, Jimmy there's like a gun right I right be, <laughs> yeah. like, I actually yeah. would be Honest, like I'm an honest person. I wouldn't yeah, care, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but I really like this. Not, I haven't driven a lot of 86s. Adrian, let me drive his, which is great. It was. I'll be honest with you. They are the most, depending on how they're built, the mm -hmm. most fun and easy car to drift. Really? When it comes to drifting, I I actually think it's the <laughs> funnest car to drift of all of the chassis. Really? Yeah, and I've had one. Steven, do you hear that? <laughs> Don't tell Jimmy that. No, no, no. It's That's a few I adjustments away from being drifty to roadie. But these are so easy to get locked out of. Well, so, so this is what you were telling me before. You said a lot of guys, they'll, they'll sh car show on Friday, road race on Saturday, and drift on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And the car doesn't argue that, with any of it. That sounds perfect. Different tires, the small adjustments and stuff, like you could get a good all-rounder mm -hmm. out of an 8.6. It's hard to beat the S-Body for how feel yeah. and how easy yeah. they are. But these are more fun. They're mm. a little bit more snappy, but not uncontrollable. Yep. They feel like you're working harder than in an S-Body. Like yeah. you feel like you're doing more. Yeah, and yeah. It's a more rewarding it, lap. Okay, I get so, it. Yeah. So it's like the Irish uh, seal of approval. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take it. You, if, you, if you keep along the attention to detail and build level, Neil's happy. And if you absolutely trash it at a track, you've got my approval. Perfect. So, so I'll, get, I'll get a... You know how Instagram get the blue check mark? I'll get the green check mark. Yeah, it'd be like, <laughs> yeah, it, it looks good. Well, I approve, and if I'm supposed to be some kind of A6 purist, I'd be happy even if one of my friends was doing something like this. I'd be, yeah, it's incredible. I want an man. open face helmet at a drift day, and I want you to have that 86 face that people do, this yeah. this hard face yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. really driving this. That's Steve, what you want. Steve, you hear that? We can't let him down. Smoon, actually, you're gonna be driving this thing too. Yeah, I'm driving this thing. Yeah, it's still in BMW world. I feel like I just got my car back from paint. You put the overs on. <laughs> Bro, I'm everything? sorry. This has been the most overstimulating last two days. I'm literally going from this yesterday <laughs> to this today. It's a big week of Ex wow, exciting stuff going on down here. <laughs> Look at the color palette in here right now. Yeah, it's incredible. To be well, fair, now if you were. You're building an 86 beside an E36, so you're as Irish as it gets. This is this is pretty <laughs> that's much That's it, that's yeah. it. With an SR-18 behind it. An SR-18 getting a tube front end. <laughs> yeah. You could walk into any garage in Ireland. You're going to have like, to put oh, another color. Irish man's will rate us for that? That's good. <laughs> Since the boy said it. It's like the oh, mint. It's like there we are. There we are. Oh, yeah. there's, there's my seal right there. What's that's the it. Crack, What's the crack, lads? What's the crack, lads? What's the crack, lads? Yeah. See? <laughs> this, this is me now. You look like a person that has a load of cattle and a field and a farm yeah. somewhere in Ireland. No, he looks like the son, <laughs> the son of a man that yeah. has all that. <laughs> My dad hates me because I love these Japanese cars. Jimmy yeah. O'Connell. Yeah, Jimmy O'Connell. <laughs> We could do some rings. Oh yeah, you yeah. Have to do this, rings this will be a ring machine when it's done now. This, yeah. no, yeah. The amount of scans you can throw in yeah, this yeah. thing it will be... I need to fly over and just stand there and be proud. Yeah. This, is, this is me now, Irish Jim. Irish Coming at you live. Jimmy O'Connell from the O'Connell Farms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I basically just talked about how awesome this thing looks in the last like 20 minutes, but whatever. So be it. It's a big day. I'm very excited. So uh, very stressed out trying to get as much done as I can before I leave for SEMA, which then goes straight to Drift Week, and I'm trying to get as much done as possible. So uh, if I'm being like too wordy in videos or not, showing enough of one thing or another, please let me know. I've been doing this for like, I guess six years now, which is crazy to think about. 
And I still feel like I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, if I should talk about this, if I should talk about that, if I'm talking too much about this. I think I honestly think too much, but yeah, so be it, part of the process. But a uh, long checklist of stuff to do, like only like three days left to do it, and um, I'm only one guy and I'm losing my brain, but whatever, everything's great. Um, so for now, let's just take a look at this thing one last time. It looks, oh, I said it so many times, but it is like a dream come true, honestly. And I honestly cannot wait to, to just drive this thing. Like it looks good, but I just want to drive the damn thing. I'm so excited for it. So um, I'm hoping the wheels that I got for it show up before I leave so we can test them real quick and get that whole look. And then I want to wire the whole chassis before I leave also so we can make sure it can like start, move itself around, do all that. I'm still going to aim to try and get this thing started before I leave. I keep saying it, but the more I look around, the more I'm just missing stuff. And <laughs> and whatever so uh for now i'm gonna end it before i ramble on so thank you guys for watching um i hope i hope you liked it all right so for now you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys very shortly